If you want to back up your Evernote files or move them to another app, there is a way you can do it. Your data is yours, and you can do whatever you want with it. Hi, I'm Dave Edwards. Today, backing up and moving your data. I post about Evernote most Monday, so subscribe below and you won't miss any of them. I'd really appreciate it, and I suspect you will too. So if you want to back up or move your files, you can export your files either as HTML or ENEX files. You know what HTML files are, but you've maybe never heard of ENEX. Well, that's a proprietary Evernote file system, but many other apps accept ENEX files, so never fear. So when you're inside of Evernote, select a notebook or a specific note that you want to export. Right-click on the selected notes and then click on Export. Select the file format, ENEX, single page HTML, or multiple page HTML. You can check or uncheck any of the items that you see here before exporting things like tags and create a date and author. Then it's a simple matter of clicking export and that file will be saved to your computer's desktop. Now, some important things to know, this is directly from Evernote support page. Evernote currently supports exporting up to 100 notes at a time or entire notebooks. If you're exporting as an ENEX file, you can select the maximum file size of each ENEX file between 300 megabytes and two gigabytes. If you're exporting a single page HTML file, you're gonna receive a single file with all notes and a single folder that contains all notes and resources. If you're exporting as a multi-page HTML file, you'll receive an HTML file for each note, a single file that contains all note resources, and an index that links all of the HTML files. And your attributes will be stored as metadata in the HTML or ENEX file. So this is gonna take some time. It's not like you can export all of your notes as one large group, plus you'll wanna remember or write down the files that you export so you don't accidentally move them again or worse yet, forget some of them. This is what I call a weekend project. Just about all notes apps that I'm familiar with have similar ways of importing notes from Evernote that you save to your desktop. So you'll wanna look at their support pages. So should you back up your files? After all, Evernote stores your data safely on its servers, but it's still not a bad idea to back up your files, Evernote files and everything else that you work with on your computer. But will you? Leave a comment below. I'd like to know whether or not you back up your Evernote files or for that matter, what your system is to keep your data safe. Do you consider yourself productive, but would like to move your productivity system into a digital environment? Hi, I'm Dave Edwards. I can help. I've created a course called Getting Things Done in a Digital Environment. In the course, I take you through each step of GTD and show you how you can use the GTD system in the digital environment that you choose. I demonstrate, I show you my system. It's easy to do once you have someone to guide you through the setup. The course is on demand and online, and it's ready for you right now. Find out more at DaveEdwardsMedia.com. Click on Courses.